challenge that the contractor was facing was to line up these edge girders that have the attachments for the cables. So if you've got your tower here in the middle and then you've got your bridge, you've got uh, rotation about the tower this way. You've also got vertical geometry, so the bridge is kind of acting like a seesaw while you're building it. It's moving up and down. And then also just because of the weight and the loads, you've got a little bit of the rotation here. During our stick figure construction, we were having a hard time getting these steel pieces to meet. We, the, the designer had to pre-camber the floor beams because if you built the floor beam straight and installed it and then put a bunch of load on it, you'd have a sagging beam at the end of the day. Those connections had as many as uh, four rows of 22 bolts and getting them to line up so that you could bolt the splice plates and get everything to line up was proving difficult. Structural steel is unforgiving. If it isn't exact, a bolt will not go in a hole. Bottom line, if, if you have several plates lining up, if they are not all perfectly aligned, you're not going to take a bolt that is just slightly undersized in the diameter of that hole and get it all the way through all those plates. So uh, the contractor came up with this really elegant solution of a super wrench and essentially what it did was it rotated some of these steel pieces into place so that we could make our connections. The solution's really elegant even though the name necessarily <laughs> isn't and I think that's part of what makes it so um, such a fun topic. So there was a lot of thought that went into the super wrenches. It was an engineering solution to a very complex problem to, to rotate a very, very stiff beam into position 200 feet in the air. It was a, a very ingenious uh, solution to uh, help facilitate the construction.